Welcome to the video guys. I wanted to share a couple things that have been on my mind um, that I wanted to relay to you. It's Monday. Hopefully this will allow you to get off to a great start and continue to have a good week. But the first thing is the analogy I like to use, which is don't ever allow yourself to get too far away from the fire or the light. You can use whichever um, reference you want to. And what I mean by that is for example, if, you, if it comes to something that's very important to you as in personal development, the further you get away from doing your daily or weekly rituals that have you really immersed in your personal development, the harder it's going to be to get back to doing those things on a consistent basis and feeling the way that you want to feel. Another thing is, for example, working out. The further you get away from that, the further you get away from being in an environment that's positive and uplifting and inspiring and working out around people, if that's what you enjoy doing and that got you to work out, the further you get away from that, the less times that you go to those workouts, the less times you connect with that circle of influence of friends that's positively influencing your life with health and fitness, the harder it's gonna be to get back. So never allow yourself to get too far away from that light or that fire for whatever it is that's valuable and important to your life. And the second thing is, guys, your actions will show people what are priorities in your life. It's very easy to say that your family is a priority in your life, but you don't devote any time to your family. It's very easy to say that you're mastering your craft is something that you're passionate and excited about and it's important to you, but you're never doing anything to become better at what your craft is. It's very easy to provide lip service, but people know, guys, you know more importantly, the person that you look at in the mirror every single day, you know if you're being true to your word and if you're following through with action. And the only person that can really answer that is yourself, but the people around you. So a perfect example, going back to health and fitness, if you're telling people all the time that you wanna get healthy, you wanna get fit, you wanna start eating better, you wanna start working out, but you never start a workout program, you never adopt any different eating habits, you aren't maybe drinking any more water and you said you wanted to drink more water, your actions will show what truly is a priority for you. Just improve your, your financial fitness, right? Because that's really important as well, but yet you're still at every happy hour. I'm not judging or saying it's good or bad, but what I'm saying is if your goal and what you're saying is a priority is you wanna save money and improve your financial fitness, but yet you're spending money on things that are not adding any value to your financial well-being, how does that make any sense? It doesn't. Same thing where if you say you want to become a better version of yourself and you're telling people that, but yet you're not doing the work to read any books, you're not doing any work to listen to something inspiring or motivating, you're not doing any work to get to that, maybe that next personal development conference. So it's very easy to say things, but it's a lot harder to follow through on your word and show people and show yourself more importantly what's truly important to you and what matters. So whatever that is for yourself, guys, whatever you wanna master, whatever you wanna get better at, if you wanna get back to personal development, if you wanna get back to your fitness, take that first step. Maybe it's reaching out to a friend you haven't spoken to in a while and said, hey, you know, I haven't worked out in a while. I really enjoyed being with you guys in that group. Can I come back? I'm sure they're gonna welcome you guys, welcome you with open arms. Same thing with having maybe an accountability partner for outlining what you want to achieve or what you want to start and what you say is going to be a priority in your life. Have that person that when you say my priority is going to be working out three or four days a week is going to check in and follow up with you and say, hey, did you follow through on what you said? Because at the end of the day, guys, you're only answering to yourself and you're only improving yourself or letting yourself down. So you have that choice. We have the power of choice. So what are you going to choose this week to get better? What are you going to show through your actions that are a priority in your life? And what are you going to work on to improve your life? Because the only person that's going to improve your life and make anything better for you out of your life is yourself. So I hope you guys have a great week. Um, enjoy your week and uh, follow through on your word and do what you're going to say and let your actions speak for you.